after a happy long summer of grazing and growing, the lamps are all grown up now. It's getting colder every day and the grass isn't growing anymore. We are all getting ready for the colder season. The hard but necessary job of slaughter is absolutely not our favorite time of the year, but we find comfort in the knowledge that the animals have had a good life every day of it. Even though it's tough, we try to use every part of the animals and treat it with the respect and care it deserves. We preserve it as best we can. We are canning, freezing, drying, salting, making meat cold cuts and liver pâté, and every sort of dinners cut for the freezer. We are getting less and less uh, sun every day and the sheep are busy getting themselves fat before the long Norwegian winter and the upcoming mating season. The sun barely touched the ground in the middle of the day and all the animals are clumping together in the sparse stripes of sun. Most nights there are frost, but in daytime it is still possible to harvest lots of our frost hardy vegetable. This is our very first horse radish. And together with some pea grass, we will try to make our very first homemade wasabi substitute in Norwegian. Now we are just grinding several times and to make sure that the wasabi is staying fresh we will freeze it in ice cube tray for later use. To try it out we will make a wasabi mayo and some roasted potatoes and beetroot.
Den smeller sånn etterpå. Most definitely something we can have again. A little harder frost will come up the next week, so I'm emptying all the animal houses and the pigs get the last chance to plow in the manure for next year's vegetable while the ground still is plowable. <laughs> in a few days I will open up to the other part of the vegetable garden so the pigs can have the last the remaining of uh, the fresh vegetable and grass before the frost kills the rest of it. The sheets get first turn in the vegetable garden, clearing out. It is actually quite amazing how green it still is here.
I just have to stand and enjoy them for some time. They are so happy. As I am pressing upload to this video, we have reached 2000 followers on our tiny YouTube channel. I am a bit overwhelmed. Um, we are both overjoyed and so thankful for all of you that chooses to use their times watching our content. Thank you so much to every one of you. The mating season has started for the sheets with the hope for next year with lots of lambs. I hope you all stay safe out there in YouTube land. Until next time, bye!